Hey guys, we're going to talk through the 5.2 homework questions, multiple choice 55 to 58. So let's do it. It says the partially completed table shows a distribution of AP stats exams. Okay, so we know in our notes that um, in a probability model, um, they have to add up to one. So if I add up these numbers, they add up to, so let's do that really quickly here. Okay, so these all add up to 85.856. So we can call that x, and we know those all add up to 1. So if we subtract this, this is the idea of the complement. x is 0.144. Now, I can fill this in here, right? And we can now finish the question. So the question states, suppose we randomly select a student who took this exam. What is the probability that he or she earned a score of at least a three? So this is at least a three, this is at least a three, and this is at least a three, okay? So um, that's what I'm gonna go with, right? Uh, I can add those together because they're mutually exclusive. So that if you think of it out of out of a thousand people, two hundred and forty nine out of a thousand got a three, um, two hundred and seventeen out of a thousand got a four, and one hundred and forty four out of a thousand got a five. And I can add all that up. That's essentially the, the same thing, or the reason why I could do this. and I'm going to get the same answer. Okay, so if I add those up, I get 0.61. So my answer is 0.61. Nice. Next question, it says, in a sample of 275 students, 20 say they are vegetarians. Of the vegetarians, nine eat both fish and eggs, three eat eggs but not fish, one eats fish but not eggs, and nine is like, what? Okay. So I will have to make a table for this. So of the vegetarians, Okay, so we have 275 students. We, we got that, right? 20 say they're veg vegetarian. So this is not a vegetarian. Okay, now it says of the vegetarians, so just of these 20 people, it says nine eat both chicken and eggs. But, excuse me, both fish and eggs. Three eat eggs but not fish. One eats fish but not eggs. And seven eat neither. Okay, so this is pretty complicated, isn't it? So it's eggs, not eggs. Fish, not fish. Okay. So of these 20, right? It says, choose one of the vegetarians at random. So in essence, I don't really need this table. I really only need this table because I'm only choosing, I only need the one that I left because I'm only choosing from that 20 because I'm choosing one of the vegetarians at random. Okay, so now let's piece through this information. It says, nine said both, eggs and fish. Seven said neither. One was fish, but not eggs. Three was eggs, but not fish. Okay, and this is just like our evil eyebrow and taco tongue. We're just putting our information in, and they're just answering the same type of question that I asked you guys. Okay, so let's fill this in. 
And now we're just kind of answering questions like we did for the taco tongue, right? What is the probability that a chosen student eats it fish or eggs? Okay, so this would be these people eat fish and these people eat eggs. So that looks like a total of 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 out of 20. There it is. Now, how would you use that with our formulas? Well, the formula would just be the probability of fish or eggs would be the probability of fish plus the probability of eggs minus any overlap of people eating both fish and eggs. So that would look like this. The probability of fish is half of people liked the fish, right? The probability of eggs is, right, this number here, 12 out of the 20 liked eggs. And we don't want to count the nine that um, twice that liked both. So we end up getting 22 minus 9, which is 13 over 20. So we get the same answer. I just do it logically without the formula. But either way is fine. Okay, now let's play a little dice. So it says the casino game craps is based on rolling two dice. So we want to be thinking about the fact that I'm going to roll two dice. Okay. Here is the assignment of the probabilities to the sum. And so we're adding these up. Okay, so I need a little bit more room. So I'm going to just, you know, erase this so I can use this space. Okay, so what's happening here? Well, this is if I roll a one through a six. So see how this is very similar to what we did in class in our last banana. And so each of these little boxes has a probability of one and six. So, but now they're talking about the sum. So what do they mean by that? Well, in this game, I'm adding up what they're getting. So this is a sum of a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven. The sum is if I took this and added it to that. Make sense? So if I fill out this table of the sums, this kind of helps me figure out, okay, this is what they're talking about. So the highest sum you can get is a 6 and a 6, and the lowest would be a 2, which is a 1 and a 1. Now this makes sense that my outcomes range from 2 to 12, right? Okay, so now as we kind of understand the game and why the proportions are, are they are, so you're like, why is this 6 out of 36? Because there's 6 sevens here. Making sense now? Okay. It says the most common bet in a craps is the pass line. A pass line is the a pass line better wins immediately if either a seven or an eleven come up on the first roll. This is called a natural. What is the probability that it does not occur? So we learned that word not means the complement. So we could do one of two things. We could actually count up all the ways for this not to occur. So let's say I get out my highlighter. This, these are not a seven. These are not a seven or an 11. These are, these are all the ways I can get not a seven nor an 11. Okay. Now what would have been easier is if I just counted how many sevens I have and subtracted that from 36. Counted how many sevens and 11s I had. Okay. But essentially the question is saying, what is the probability of not getting a natural? So it is six, seven, eight. If there is eight out of 36, um, if I'm thinking of the probability of getting a seven or an 11, then that means the probability of not getting a seven or an 11 has to equal one minus eight over 36, which is 28 out of 36. 28 out of 36. Okay, nice work. All right, what about 58? Same game. We're still playing craps. So it says if a player rolls a 2, 3, or a 12, it's called craps. What is the probability of getting craps? So what's the probability of craps or 
and even sum on one roll. Okay, so we don't want to count these twice. So again, I usually would just highlight it in my table, but I already highlighted my table, so I'm a little perturbed. I'm going to hit back arrow. So I undo my highlight. I know, this is taking forever, isn't it? I, I still think this might be easier than... Okay, so I'm back to an empty solution set. And it says, I'm calculating what's the probability of craps or an even sum. So I'm just going to highlight if it's craps. So let's, let's do that one first. So what is craps? Craps is rolling a 2, a 3, or a 12. So a 2, a 3, or a 12. Okay. That's craps. Or an even sum. So it's an even sum. So these are all even. These are all even. These are even. These are even. So what's the probability of either a pink or an orange? And so that would be both. And there is an overlap there, right? 12 and 2 are even. Uh, but I don't worry about the overlap. I just count up all the people that, um, or all the outcomes that would be true here. So let's quantify that. So I have um, 1, 2, 3, four, 4 pinks. And, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 out of 36. So that's a total of 20 out of 36, which is our answer C. How would we do this the official way? Okay, so the official way would be um, probability of craps. Well, what's the probability of craps? That's the, there's 4 out of 36. What's the probability of even sums? Well, it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18 out of 36 that are even sums. However, if you're going to do the probability of craps or even, that's the probability of craps plus the probability of even. Take away the overlap of even and craps, right? So this is 4 out of 36 plus 18 over 36 minus, well, when are they both? And it looks like two of the times they're actually both, 2 out of 36. So that should give me the same sum, 20 out of 36. Nice work, guys. Check me next time for the next set of